in the um, few minutes remaining, I, I have a few minutes, I don't want to leave you with the impression that absolutely everything in comic books is 100% scientifically accurate. <laughs> so I want to mention those few cases, those few rare instances where the comic books will get their physics wrong, even with a miracle exemption or two. Uh, here's Superman from an old world's finest story where he's carrying an orphanage from one part of town to another. <laughs> I've read it several times, I still don't know why. Uh, <laughs> you know, one thing they got right in the Superman Returns movie is that if you try to like stop an airplane that's hurtling towards the ground and you try to grab it by the wing, the wing will snap off in your hands, right? Jet, jet engine, jet airplanes, ocean liners, office buildings, weren't really designed to be picked up. <laughs> Even if they're like this building here that apparently isn't connected to any city, water, or power. Um, and even if you do a Superman series supporting it under its center of mass, there'd be enormous twisting forces, torques, that would exceed the structural strength of the materials. So really what he should get, be, arrive at some place is not cheering, cheering uh, kids in the orphanage, but he should be holding like a couple of cinder blocks and some piping, <laughs> and there should be a trail of construction material behind him. <laughs> you can always know where he is. And this isn't even the worst example. A few issues later, in another world's finest, here he is <laughs> carrying two office buildings like pizza pies, and that's not even the weirdest part of this. The weirdest part is what he's saying. I got permission to borrow the two Gotham City buildings you asked for. Who would you ask? <laughs> say, I'll be extra careful. I'll, I'll use one hand. <laughs> like, okay, Superman. <laughs> you know, people fled in terror when he lifted a car overhead in 1938. It's like, now there's cheering people in the stadium. Yay, Superman's going to kill us all. 